This is the main teaching block of Kisk. It's uh, four floors of brick, what used to be an old Tibetan carpet factory. Uh, and miraculously, after two earthquakes, uh, it didn't have any significant structural damage, unlike the school hall. There's a lot of minor stuff in other buildings that have, uh, need a lot, of, a lot of work, but this building itself, the main building, has survived uh, pretty much intact, which is just incredible. This is the back wall of the school hall. It's got to get rebuilt. The whole thing came down in the earthquake. So we've managed to put up a tarp just to stop the dust from getting, or too much dust from getting into the hall. So that's actually the front of the stage there. And this whole back wall just came away. Here's some of the old bricks where well, they weren't pinned together and the whole thing just came out. So here's that tarp from the inside of the hall. The wind kind of blows it around, so the sooner we get the, the sooner we get the wall back up, the better. But this is what it used to look like after the earthquake. As you can see, it was pretty bad. Rubble was absolutely everywhere. Um, so we've done a pretty good job getting it cleaned up, ready for the new wall. Uh, everywhere you look around, local brick walls just down the road here, you'll see things like this. And that's the reason why. Oh. Uh. So this is the uh, courtyard after it's all been cleaned up. And of course we're waiting now to get this brick wall reskinned with an outside layer of bricks. It's a bit different to what it looked like two months ago. This is an old storage shed. They um, didn't really use cement to put the bricks together, they just used mud to stick the bricks together pretty much. So not surprisingly, it's, that came down as well. Everywhere you look in Kathmandu now, you'll see the remains of brick walls and Kisk's uh, campus is no exception. Here's the remains of one of the brick walls just out the back of the uh, admin block. This building is the Nepali language and uh, orientation program building of small classrooms. This is the only building that's been compromised uh, that we can't actually use straight after the earthquake. Um, the building itself is sound, but the stairwell, just down here, let's just run along here, the stairway itself has been, um, has shifted quite significantly and it's been deemed unsafe. So while we can actually technically use the rooms, we can't get to the rooms because the stairwell uh, right here is gonna have to be rebuilt. But apart from that, that's the only uh, teaching space that's been compromised by the earthquake.